All right, here we go again, diggers. We're going to head on into Pendixie and see what we can find. Um, nice gloomy day like today. All right, see you when we get down there. All right, folks, here we go. We're at Pendixie. I got my car with me. I'm heading over to my favorite little spot. Looks like there might be already a few people over there. Not many people here today. This parking lot's pretty closed. Pretty empty. But we'll see what we can find. Alright, I'll see you when I get down in the holes. Alright, here we go, folks. Got me a nice little area. Uh, a lot of this uh, looks like they filled in. So, I remember all this uh, scraps being in the middle here. Uh, this was a lot deeper before. I'm talking feet deep. So, got to dig through it to get to it. So, we're going to bust some of these rocks open. I think I already got a couple nice cracks going on them. So, I'm going to go see if they're loose. Come on, let's try this. Oh, they're loose. That didn't take long. Let's see if we can find some. Oh yeah, that's nice and loose. Here's the first fossil. Not a big one. We're going to bust this rock open a little bit, but we're going to pull out some of these ones here first. There's something else right there. I think we got a couple things on this one. We'll send them all aside, put them up on the top. Right now, I'm just trying to get through some of this hard stuff. Get to the hard stuff, I should say. It's hard when they're all muddy, guys. It's better in a nice sunny day. One you can see him. All right, I'm gonna throw this guy up on top. Call that one my first fossil. Oh, there's one. Yes, that one's a nice shell. I'll take that one home and get it out. All right, that didn't take long. That's a nice one. All right, very cool. I think I got a nice little spot. Looks good. All right, let me go. I'll be back. First trill bite head. Starting to rain guys, so camera's gonna head in the pocket and I'll let you guys know what I find at the end. Or hopefully it'll stop raining. Okay, see ya. Quick walkthrough. Maps are up on the other side. Each little area tends to produce uh, more uh, species any other. Right now where I'm swinging over by the little red cart there, this tends to be a lot of trilobites over here for some reason. And over here it tends to be something else. 
but looking at it, the last time I was here, there was a lot of little rock face, if you will, exposed. Now they got a lot of this uh, small stuff on top of it. So they must spread it around. So I'm trying to look for spots that people have already got into a little bit. Already pulled me out a couple trills. Nice shell. So, I'm doing pretty good. But yeah, this is where I wanted to see. This is where all the hard stone is. I forget what's over here. This is the rockets like Herkimer over here. But there's no diamonds in it. I forget what they say it's in here, like I said, but. I might end up coming over here for a little bit. I got my big sledge with me. I'm into busting some rocks. But yeah, this is the hard stuff over here. Someone's been working on them, though. my detector I might come back tomorrow I got actual permission to detect this place it's like they said hey what the heck all those people do here anyways is dig holes so and I've heard of lots of stories lost rings here lost rings there lost necklaces one guy told me some little girl found a shark's tooth in here but it wasn't from here. Someone must have lost it, so. Never know what you're gonna find in this place. You never know. So with that said, make my way back over here and bust some more rocks open. All right, guys. See you in a minute or two. Ah, look at that split in that rock. That's very cool. I love it when it happens. Bro, man, that's a big rock for just that little trill. So, probably end up trying to knock it down just a little bit, seeing if there's anything else in this thick part. But, all right, very cool. We're on the trill bites. See if we can get a nice big one. All right, gotta go. See ya. Hey, diggers, here we go, here we go. We just got ourselves a complete trillabyte. Alright, I'm going to head over to this little, it's raining, see if you can't tell. We're going to wash her off here in this little semi-clean muddy water. Oh yeah, alright, i got to put this in a special spot. Very nice, very nice. Alright guys. You'll see it more when I clean it up. I gotta dig more before it starts pouring. See ya. Alright diggers. Here's uh, the best finds from uh, Pendixie so far. Uh, first time out this year. Uh, we actually had a great time. Um, I had a blast. Uh, I found a lot of stuff and a few bucket listers. If we start off at this end, just real quick, I'll show you the negatives. Uh, they were just too cool to pass up, so I uh, brought those guys home. Um, I believe we got some horn coral down here. Um, I'm no expert in this, guys, so please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, we got these guys down here, too. We find these by the handful, just about. I got a bunch more in the house, or that I got to get out of the matrix in their house. But uh, let's see. These are two of my favorite. Um, we'll start with this one. This old guy I buffed up a little bit. Uh, he's looking pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't believe he's all there, but he is a very nice little showpiece. Again, a few million years old, right? This guy I worked on. Uh, might show you a picture of him. Um, 
right about now. Before, but uh, he came out really nice. I'm very pleased with him. And uh, the finds of the trip. Well, when this came out, you guys seen it. My first full trilobite. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe that when that popped out of the rock. So that was really neat. Missing a little bit of an eye there. But um, I'm excited as heck about that. That is uh, going to be a very nice piece to sit on the mantle. Um, that was my first full one. Um, like I said in the video, it's rough when it's muddy out there because you don't quite know what you got. And uh, this guy to me really looked like it was only half a trilobite. But I do believe it's a curled trilobite. So I might try to get this one out of the matrix here shortly. Um, I did a little practice run on this guy over here. He came out really nice. So going to uh, see what we can do with this guy. So that was two possible full trilobites. So that really got me excited when I seen that. Of course, cleaned this guy out. Got to make that rock a little smaller. It's a little too thick. So we'll knock that down a little bit. So uh, that guy's got a little smaller home to carry around. And uh, this big guy here, this got me excited yet again. I got another trilobite here. And he's curled. So he might be a full trilobite. You could just make out the eyes on the front of it. But not only that, there's another one down here that looks like it's curled. This one may be broken though. But uh, that'll be fun getting those out. And lastly, two more trill heads. Uh, got to clean those up. The one on uh, right there is uh, still got a little mud on it. But uh, all in all, an awesome hunt. Um, finds of the day, I believe, are just at this point, these four. But these guys could take that over real quick if I could get them out unharmed. So, awesome uh, trip. I highly recommend uh, Hen Dixie and... Uh, check uh, the credits down below there I'm going to put some uh, links uh, to uh, their information uh, PDF and uh, I'll tell you all about the rocks and the formations and uh, what you can find in the different locations since I didn't know offhand but uh, awesome stuff guys keep digging life see ya